Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Ben and this one is a great video. You wanna know how I customized my Oculus Home on Quest 2? Watch this video till the end and also you will have a custom virtual environment on Oculus Quest 2. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date. Come find me on my Facebook page, Advanced VR Fair, and use the link in the description to buy your favorite games on instant gaming at discounted prices and using the link you will also support the channel for free. Thank you. I start immediately with the premise. To customize virtual environment on Oculus Quest 2 is essential that you watch this video before to proceed if you never used SideQuest because there are a couple of settings to do and a couple of things to download and install on your PC and on your Quest. But if you already have done all these things and you already know how to use SideQuest, proceed directly in this video. It's a very simple operation and it requires a very little time. Okay, let's go. Open side quest, turn on quest 2 and link to PC via cable. Allow the access to the storage and if required to the ADB drive and when this little dot is green, scroll down until you find the icon Oculus Home. Once you're in, you will find a list with all the custom homes to install on your Quest 2 and also Quest. Choose the one you like the most, for example I choose the CD17 from Half-Life Alex, and open this menu here. Here you can choose which environment already installed on your Quest 2 you want to overwrite. I choose Home Classic with audio for example. If you select the silent one, you will have only the environment without the audio. Confirm the require for the installation and wait for it to be done. Now pay very attention to the next passage. Now we are the headset and you should see a message that invite you to restore the original app because of piracy. Know that it's not impossible to get banned for this reason. But after all you receive this message even when you try to install mod for Beat Saber and I never heard of someone be banned for Beat Saber mods and not even for custom virtual environment. So you could be the first one. <laughs> nah, just joking, don't worry. Now click on close and if it asks twice, click again. Then go into settings, virtual environments and activate the one you override it. In my case is home classic and voila, you are in CD17 from Half-Life Alex. Of course, the graphic quality is not the same as the game, this is a simple 3D rendering of the environment. So this is not the game, okay? So please, don't start again with Haha, so Half-Life Alex can run on Quest 2? No. Now, before I proceed to explain how to uninstall, check the custom environment I got for myself. If you want to uninstall the custom virtual environment and restore the original one, simply click on uninstall 
and download and install again so the custom one will be replaced by the original. Now warning because according to the developers I had a rare problem in this last passage because after I uninstalled the custom virtual environment I could not restore the original one because after the download the installation failed. Don't worry because I already have the solution or better I have two. Solution number one. After the installation fail, set the environment bubbles. I found the APK files with the original environments and you can find them all in the first link and description that contain the zip with all the original environments. Download it, extract the one you need, in my case Home Classic for example, and install in the headset using SideQuest. How to install? Keep the headset turned on and linked to the PC and on SideQuest click on this icon. Browse the path where you extracted the APK, select it and click open. Wait for the process is done and you will have the original environment installed again. Solution number two. And this is one that I suggest if you don't want to mess it up too much doing stuffs. After the installation fail, set the environment bubbles. Now, from the second link in the description, download the tool Quest Home Uninstall. Keep the headset turned on and linked to the PC and SideQuest open, extract the zip completely and run the file .bat. Watch out because if it doesn't work, you probably have to run it as administrator. This little program will ask you to uninstall one by one all the environments, click yes on the one you want to uninstall, for me for example is home classic, and go on until you receive the completion message. Now restart the headset and your original environment has been restored. Well, I hope this video was helpful for all those who so far asked me how to install custom virtual environment on Oculus Quest 2. Let me know if you did it and let me know if you have the same problem I had. Thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe and ring the bell. From Benitzel, see you to the next one and see you in VR. Ciao ragazzi!